I've just done a circuit um, and we're not going to do a cool down. So just do my regular cool down, raising your right leg into the air, rounding the ankle one way and then the other. <laughs> and turn the dose comes to us. And then drop your right ankle onto your left knee. If you have to push your right knee away from you with your right hand. Keep your body or your breath getting back to normal. And then lift your left foot off the floor. Reach up, grab hold of your left thigh, gently pull it towards you. You can keep your hips down or if you're bringing them right up, bring them right up. You should feel a stretch through your glute and through your thigh. And then just drop your left foot back onto the floor, keep your right foot where it is. And then move your hips over to the right hand side and drop your right knee all the way over to your left hand side. Try and keep your right shoulder on the ground, your left knee is coming towards the ground, it doesn't have to touch the ground. The idea is that you're getting a nice twist through your hips and up the side of your body. And then gently bring your feet back together. This time straighten your left leg up into the air, round your ankle one way and then the other. And then bend your right knee this time, drop your left ankle onto your right knee, gently push your left knee away from you with your left hand. This should get stretched through the inside of your left hip. And then lift your right foot off the ground, reach up, grab hold of your right thigh. If you don't want to grab hold of your thigh, you can grab hold of your foot and your left foot on your left knee, gently pull them towards you, bring your shoulders back down to the floor. And then drop your right foot back onto the floor, keep your left knee where it is, left shoulder on the ground, left knee all the way across the right hand side, dropping your knee down towards the floor. So you were supposed to move your hips over to the left hand side this time. And then bring your left shoulder over and then come onto your hands and knees. So your hands and knees, bring your feet together, knees apart, that's the width of your mat. Then drop your hips down towards your heels and walk your fingertips away from you. Keep your elbows off the ground if you can, bringing your biceps up towards the, the sky. Your Forehead is coming down towards the floor. And then come back up to your hands and knees. Oh, it's quite tough on the <laughs> floor. Bring your hands over to the left hand side. Bring your right foot forward. Gently push your hips down. Your back knee is still on the floor for the time being. And then push back into the heel, straighten that back leg and push back into it. Again, your right foot's forward, you're pushing your hips down towards the floor. And then drop your back knee back down to the floor, straighten that front leg, bring your toes up towards the sky. Trying to come up and tip from your hips, it'll deepen the stretch in your hamstring. And then bend that front knee, bring the left knee back towards it. This time, right knee goes back, hands come over to the right hand side, and you're pushing your hips down to the ground with your knee still on the floor. And then push back into the heel of the back foot, straightening that leg, but still pushing the hips down towards the floor.
and then drop that back knee down to the floor, uncurl your toes, lean back, straighten that front, toe, front leg, bring the toes up towards the sky, should activate all your hamstrings, come up, if you want to deepen that stretch, tip forward, just pause there, you don't have to bring your hands to the floor but you can if you're struggling with your balance, and then bring both feet together, just pause in that full forward bend, straighten your legs if you can, if not, a little bend in your knees, hands are down towards the floor, you can grab hold your elbows if you want, just add a little swing there. And then release your elbows and slowly come up, vertebra by vertebra. And as you come up, bring your right foot, right, right knee up towards your chest. Just hold it there. Then take it out to the side. And then slide your hand down to your ankle. Bring your knees together. Tip your hips forward, you might need to use a wall to keep your balance there, but you should be feeling a stretch on the front of your hips and your thighs. If you can do, and you can reach forward without twisting your knee, you can reach back with both hands. And then release. Bring your right foot down, this time your left knee comes up, hug it towards your chest. And then just take it out to the side and slide your hand down to your ankle, up hold your foot, tip your hips forward so you're pushing forward from your hips, lengthening your adductors and reach back and lengthening your, your thigh, your thighs. So if you want to reach back with both hands you can do And then release, bring your foot down to the floor, right arm across your body and hug it towards you, try and bring it away from your shoulders. And then hand comes up, drop it down in between your shoulder blades, lean back into those arms. You should be getting a stretch through your triceps on your right hand. The right arm should I say, and then release, arms wide, this time left arm across, shoulders away, and then hand up in between the shoulder blades, and then lean back, you should get a nice stretch through your tricep there, and then release, a little swing of your hips, gently looking over your shoulders and then a little jog and then look down to the floor into those hips a little bit should be nice and loose now and then come back up a little jog down to the floor back up down back up down reach up give yourselves a clap well done